Hi everyone, this is Natasha from Customer Success at Action Step, and this is part three of our template series. The following templates are also available to you, so please download them and add them to your system. And these are different letterheads addressed to different parties. And I'm just going to take you through how they work. So we've got a letterhead addressed to the client. So you can have multiple clients and it is addressed to all the names, but it only uses the first address. The letterhead addressed to multiple client parties will be addressed to all clients and will use each of their individual addresses. A letterhead addressed to client primary contact, that might be where we want to address the letter to all clients, but it is care of a primary contact. And then we've got a letterhead addressed to the other party's lawyer. And I will show you how they work. So I've already gone and downloaded and generated these templates. So if we have a look in our matter, we have three clients and then we do have a client primary contact and we've got an other party lawyer as well. So let's have a look at how these generate. And also remember that hopefully by now you have your own letterhead that you're happy with. So you can use those templates and just copy and paste the address details across into your letterhead and save them down as templates. So then your letterhead's already done and you've got your addressed letterhead set up. Okay, so let's have a look at a letterhead addressed to client. So this is where we have all our clients but only the first address. So if we look back here, it's the first address, meaning the first client who's on the list, but it also adds the other names. So this is great where we usually deal with one client or a Mr. and Mrs. We then have a letterhead addressed to multiple clients. So as you can see, it is addressed to all three individually with individual addresses. We then have one who's addressed care of the client primary contact. So we've got our three names, but it's care of the client primary contact. And then we have one addressed to the other party's lawyer. So we have the lawyer's name and we also have the organization that they're from. So in order to do that, if we actually have a look at our contact and how it is set up. So what we just make sure we do is set up the employer. So as long as the employer is filled in with the organization that they're from, then that will appear on the letterhead. Don't worry if it's not there, it will simply ignore it. However, it is good practice when we're dealing with people of other firms that we do have the firm as the employer. And when we are creating a contact, it is useful to remember that if we choose to copy details from a company, that the company will appear as the employer for an individual. So it is really good when we're dealing with other law firms to have the law firm office as an actual company contact. When we're dealing with real estate agents to make sure that real estate agency is a contact and then we can just copy the details from that company to each agent that's working for them and this will automatically appear. So those templates are available for you. Please go and have a look. Remember, you can change the details, you can change the formatting. So go in and have a play and let me know how you go. Enjoy our next, our next template lesson. We'll be looking at an engagement letter and looking at client authorities and maybe where we want the same authority 
to be separated by each client. So each client gets the same form to sign. And I'll show you how to do that.